Hi there, I'm Jim from Aviat, and I'm thrilled to introduce to you today a new feature in Aviat design called the Commercial Tower Layer. This revolutionary feature is transforming the way you discover and lease tower space for your radio equipment. With a mere click of a button, you can now find and incorporate into your design commercial tower space. In addition, you can also make direct contact with the tower leasing companies. Do you remember the days of tirelessly scanning Google Earth looking for tower shadows? or the countless hours of driving around, seeking commercial tower space and trying to track down the owners of the towers? How about the painstaking task of transferring tower coordinates from the tower website into your design tool? Well, those days are over, thanks to our new commercial tower layer. Let me give you a demo and show you how this works. First, we're gonna select our project. From here, we're going to identify our first site and here I've already selected site A as our first one. We're gonna select that by clicking on it. It turns orange. Now we're gonna click on, our, click on the new towers layer. From here, we can specify a distance. I'm gonna leave it at the default of a 10 mile radius. And what we're gonna look for are all the available commercial towers in this area. By clicking on the tower button, we'll now populate this and we can zoom in and we can now see all of the towers that are available to use in our project uh, within a 10 mile radius. Now, if I click on any one of these, it will then give me the detailed information about who the tower company is, the total height of the tower, the type of structure it is. And if I'd like to, I can click on height and availability more information. And from this window here, you'll be able to make direct contact with the tower company and they will be able to then engage with you and tell you exactly what RAD centers are available and give you pricing for leasing space on their tower. If you do want to select that particular tower, you press import and that will then bring it into your project. Now we clear our results. We can build a link between site A and our new site that we've just selected. Now that we've built our first link in the network, let's go back and add a few more sites. So again, I'm gonna click on the, the first site that I wanna build from is our starting point. Click on towers. And maybe this time we're just gonna do within a three mile radius. We'll click on towers again. They're gonna get our list. We'll zoom in. We'll identify which one is the one that looks best for our application. I'll go ahead and import that into the design. Now again, we can just click on this and we can join and build another link. So you can see how rapidly and easy it is to find commercial towers and build your network. Another nice feature we've added, if you haven't seen recently, is the FCC license database. So this feature works similar. You select a starting point and you select a uh, distance. Now over here, you can select what frequency band you wanna display. So let's say we're interested in all bands that are in the area. And I click on our starting point and FCC licenses. And what this will do, this will show us a layer, if we zoom in here, of all of the license links that are nearby. Now we can again get the details of the licenses, find out what frequencies are on, who the license holder is. And this will give me a good idea of what available channels may be available in my area or what frequency bands I may want to think about when I'm building my network out. So another very useful feature uh, built into Aviat Design and the FCC layer is updated every couple of weeks. So we've got fresh information about who the current license holders are in your area. And lastly, I want to show you one of my personal favorite features of Aviat Design is the sharing feature. With this feature, you can now share your project with other team members on your team or with one of the Aviat engineers if you want us to take a look and help verify your design. Let me just quickly show you how you do this. Come into project sharing, which is our new feature. You're gonna click add. You'll put in the email address of the person you wanna share your project with. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you'll select the project you wanna share. And then you can choose what level, if they just have read access, read write, or if you want them to actually be able to create new uh, designs inside of your project, then you press send invitation. So now that person will get an email message inviting them to join your project and they too can uh, work interactively with you on the design. 
Here at Avia, we're continuously enhancing our software tools to make it easier for you to design and build your microwave networks. The new commercial tower layer, the FCC layer, and project sharing are just a few of those examples. So try out our new features in the Aviat design tool at aviatcloud.com.